good day all uh, in this short video we are going to discuss about the relationship between degree of saturation wide ratio water content of soil and specific gravity of soil solids so in fact these are all fundamental properties of soil so in this uh, lecture we are going to develop a interrelation among these fundamental properties of soils so many of us aware that uh, soil basically consists of uh, three components uh, soil mass basically consists of uh, solids and within solids we can expect voids so these voids may include either air or water so this is the true picture of the soil so now this is going to present in an imaginary diagram uh, this is the uh, imaginary diagram which shows these three components solids water air so one can see now uh, the here the mass so this i am trying to represent with capital m so mass of the soil total mass of the soil which includes mass of solids plus mass of water plus mass of air in fact mass of air is negligible so i can tell you mass of air is approximately zero now let us see the another side here we have volume so it includes total volume capital v total volume of the soil mass which includes now solids plus whites volume of solids plus vs plus vv volume of whites so within whites we can expect water and air here vw vv is equal to vw plus va so this is regarding volume of whites now uh, let us pick up the wide ratio first uh, initially so wide ratio is a volumetric relationship so which in fact wide ratio is the ratio of volume of whites to volume of solids this i can write as vv by vs so now let us move to degree of saturation saturation so it, that itself is a self explanatory so within whites so how much space is occupied with water so vw by vv vw by vv now uh, we can rewrite this vw is equal to sr into sr into vv so now what is vv so it is interesting to know that vv is equal to e into vs so all together we can substitute this vv is equal to e into vs now i am getting vw is equal to sr into vv now vv is e into vs this i can write as an equation number 1 now let us see now uh, many of us knows what is specific gravity of solids soil solids density of solids by density of water density of water so now here is the density of solids density everyone knows that density means mass of solids by mass mass by volume mass of the soil by volume of soil but we are we are specific to solids that's why we are writing now mass of solids by volume of solids because here we are discussing about density of solids mass of solids by volume of solids now uh, let us discuss about density of water in similar lines we can write mass of water by volume of water density of water is equal to now after rearranging this ds is equal to specific gravity of solids is equal to ms by vs into vw by mw now uh, what i am looking now is vw therefore vw in fact it is volume of water is equal to gs into uh, mw by ms into vs so now it is interesting to discuss about what is mass of water present in soil by mass of solids which is equal to moisture content of soil that we are designating with w moisture content is also called water content of soil now uh, one can now write now gs into w into vs this is equation number 2 now what we are going to do is now we are going to equate equation number 1 and 2 now equation number 1 as we aware that sr e into vs is equal to gs into w into vs Uh, so now sr e into vs is equal to gs into w into vs in both the sides uh, vs is getting cancelled now i am getting a relation now sr e into sr into e is equal to w into gs 
So this is the relationship between SR degree of saturation, wide ratio, water content of soil, and specific gravity of solids. So before we conclude this, uh, so let me tell you once again the relationship between degree of saturation, wide ratio, water content of soil, and specific gravity of soil solids. That is SRE is equal to W into GS. Thank you all.